Hi. Quality assurance is an integral part of any translation project and just like any other CAD tool, Megaty provides both built-in QA functions as well as the ability to use external programs. There are several built-in QA tools in Megaty and the first one is Spellcheck, which is a script. So I go to Tools and I run the script spell check. And it gives me a window with a list of errors, which I normally ignore or learn, depending on whether I want to just ignore the word or add it to a custom dictionary by learning it. And if I find an error, I can click the segment number to jump to the segment and make a correction. The second tool is checking tags. And you have two options. You can validate tags for the entire project and for the current document. I'm going to validate tags for the entire project. And Megative provides this window where it shows whether a tag has been added or is missing. And in this case I have two tags in, in the source, part of the segment, and those two tags are missing. So basically, I need to click the segment number and add the missing tags, like this. All right, and um, note that there are quite often errors when creating translated documents, and in most cases, these problems are associated with with the fact that the person did not check tags. So when, whenever you get this error, the first step should be validating tags. And of course after you save the segment, after correcting the, the tag problem, you, the next time you run tag validation, you get this error that no tag errors were detected. Finally, the most important QA tool is, of course, the QA check rules script. When I run it, it gives a long list of errors of different types, so different punctuation, start case, equal source and target, and so on. And from here, just as with the spell checker and tag validation, I can jump to the segment and correct it. So normally I would go through the entire list from from beginning to end and check all errors by simply going through them and um, opening opening various segments whenever I feel that I need to make corrections. A good thing about the script is that it also includes tags. It checks for tags, so it basically duplicates the functionality of the of tag validation. So if you forget to do tag validation, you, you are reminded by the script that you forgot to do it. Although tag validation might be more visual. And the same is true for spelling errors. You can also check this checkbox and check for spelling errors as well within this QA script. Now to external QA tools. For example, you you might want to use an external QA tool if it has some functionality that <coughs> a Megaty has not. In my case, I want to check terminology. I'm going to use a tool called Verifica in this example. So I go to terminology errors and I first have to add a glossary. I need <clears throat> to know the path to the glossary which I can copy from from a mega T. Okay, here it is. I choose the glossary. Here's the glossary. The next step is adding the actual files to check. So I go to files and uh, and a very interesting question, which file I should use. 
and what I recommend is creating translated documents and using this file the level 2 TMX created in the root folder of the project And the reason why I recommend it is, is because Omega T is able to recognize the tags here, as you see. And if you, for example, check Project Save TMX, Omega T won't recognize tags as tags. But here it can recognize tags, and of course it can. Verifica will check tags as well. So this is the the list of of general errors, which I can check and correct and uh, my first goal was to check terminology and here's terminology which I can also check and here what I what I can do is I can go back to Omega T and make corrections there in the project or I can do it in a more efficient way which is to make corrections directly in Verifica then save the file and then what I will do after I complete quality assurance is I want to take this file go to Omega T copy it here and replace the current project save TMX with this file that I, I updated after QA. Of course, Omega 2 will ask me to overwrite it, and I overwrite it. So by doing so, I avoid manual switching between, between the QA program and Omega T. That's it. These are the, the very basics of quality assurance and Omega T. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you in some way, please help it in return by sharing a link to to the blog post mentioned below it in on your website or any of your social media thanks